Hi everyone, welcome to Clara's Feng Shui Cafe. In my last video, we have learned two different examples of period eight house charts. Both are sitting northeast, facing southwest. However, when measuring more accurately with Luo Pan, one has good Feng Shui while the other one doesn't. So, what will happen to period eight houses when period nine arrives in 2024? First, we need to know where does the sitting and facing star of each sector come from. As we can see, the sitting stars and facing stars on both charts are quite different. I will be using the first example to demonstrate how each of the stars fly step by step. Let's first draw a nice square grid chart. Now, clearly label the directions of the chart. The sitting direction is Chou and the facing direction is Wei. In period 8, number 8 star is in the middle. As we've learned about the flying patterns, number 9 flies to the northwest, number 1 flies to the west, number 2 northeast, number 3 south, number 4 north, number 5 southwest, number 6 east, and number 7 southeast. Since number 2 star is in the sitting direction, we then write number 2 on the left hand side of the middle sector. Number 5 star is in the facing direction, therefore we write number 5 on the right hand side of the middle sector. Let's first look at the sitting star. The sitting star is number 2. We need to know where is number 2 on the Luo Pan. As we can see on the Luo Pan, number 2 has three mountains. That's Wei, Kun, Shen. We write them down on a piece of paper and label them A, B and C respectively in a clockwise direction. As this chart is sitting Chou, Chou is in the northeast. In the northeast, there are three subdirections. That's Chou, Gen, Yin. Then we write down these three mountains below Wei, Kun, Shen, and also label them A, B, and C respectively in clockwise direction. As both Chou and Wei are labeled as A, that means Chou corresponds with Wei. Therefore, we need to check whether Wei belongs to Yin or Yang. As we can see in the table, Wei is Yin. As mentioned before, if it's Yin, the flying pattern is reversed. That is, number three flies to the southeast, number four to the east, number five, southwest, number six, north, number seven, south, number eight, northeast, number nine, west, and number one, northwest. Now, let's see how to fly the facing star. First, we need to check where is number five on the Luo Pan. Well, number five is actually in the middle of the Luo Pan and it has no direction. Therefore, we use the facing direction Wei directly to check whether it belongs to Yin or Yang. As we can see on the table, Wei is Yin, so the facing star's flying pattern is also reversed. So number 5 starts in the middle, and then number 6, number 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we have created a fly star chart of a house that's sitting Chou and facing Wei in period 8. It's exactly the same as the one on the left. In period 8, number 8 star is an auspicious star, so we need to find where is number 8 star on the chart. As we can see, number 8 is on the left hand side of the sitting direction and right hand side of the facing direction. This means that this house has good feng shui. If you want to know more details, please check out my previous video.
This chart is good feng shui in period 8 because it can bring good fortune and good health. So when period 9 arrives, how does it affect the feng shui of this house? In period 9, number 9 star becomes the auspicious star. Therefore, we need to check the positions of number 9 star on the chart. As we can see, in the west, number 9 is in the sitting position, or left-hand side of the sector. So, if there's a mountain or hills or tall buildings or tall trees in the west of the house, this can greatly benefit the family member's health in period 9. In the north, number 9 star is in the facing position or right-hand side of the sector. If there's a river, a swimming pool, a fish pond, or road in this direction, then the owner of the house is more likely to become wealthy in period 9. But this is not enough. The owner must also have a main door in this direction to let the wealth enter in the house. If you cannot open the door in the north, there is another option. In period 9, number 1 star is the future star, an auspicious star. So you can also install a main door in the direction of south to let the positive energy enter in the house to increase your wealth. Now we've learned how to improve our house's feng shui and what we need to do in period 9. In summary, in period 8, number 8 facing star is the wealth star. Therefore, we need to open the door in the direction of number 8. In period 9, number 9 facing star will become the wealth star. Therefore, we need to open the door in the direction of number 9. In this way, wealth can enter the house through the main door. If you like my videos, feel free to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel.